Stay free with Russell Brand. See it first on Rumble. Meanwhile, in that uh, not a proxy war, um, isn't it get hotting up a bit, mate? Because Zelensky does say that it's part of his plan to take Crimea. Zelensky has said that he never planned to honour the Minsk agreement about like what's going on in Donbass. And also, isn't it pretty clear that if Crimea gets taken, we might all find ourselves in a terrible pickle, nuclear Armageddon-wise? Yeah, and there's a few interesting points there when it comes to Crimea. So last month in January, there was a report in the New York Times that said the Biden administration was considering helping Ukraine attack Crimea, said they weren't concerned about escalation. And this is just based on the fact that Putin hasn't used the nuke up to this point. That's all they're basing this on. Oh, he hasn't done anything yet. You know, we don't have to worry about it, which is really unbelievable. And they quoted somebody in there from the RAND Corporation. If you're familiar with that think tank, you know, they're funded by the U.S. military. They've been shaping U.S. foreign policy for decades. And she said, oh, Putin, he hasn't really done anything big in response to attacks on Crimea. But that's not true. In October, if you remember the truck bombing of the Kerch Bridge, which connects Crimea to the Russian mainland, after that is when Russia started the large-scale bombing of Ukraine's energy infrastructure, leaving millions of Ukrainians without power. The fact that she says that and the New York Times reports it that way, oh, they haven't done anything. It shows they don't care about Ukrainians. The, you know, shows, they're suffering much more. Shows how dislocated are from the consequences of their actions. For the Ukrainian people, the loss of that energy was a pretty significant loss and a pretty considerable exacerbation in the conditions they're living under. And of course, we remember that bridge bombing because I feel like British special forces were significantly involved in enacting it. Remember it? By Jove, we did it. Stay free with Russell Brand. See it first on Rumble.